Hello, this is Lucas Palmeira from Imaginem and I'm here to give you another tutorial on the RC. Today I'm going to show you how to make some sounds from the song Verdi Squaw by Daft Punk. Actually, the name of the song is a wordplay from the word, from the Latin word Quo Vadis, which, which means where are you going or what is your purpose. But actually, it's a clever wordplay because Verdi Squaw can be also read as very disco, which is kind of the nature of the, the, the record. And also, if you change the words around, you can also read it as Discovery, which is the name of the album. So let's get right into it. We have some six sounds to do, three of them are organs, and these were quite hard to do because um, doing organs or tone wheel organs on um, analog synthesizer is very hard because there are loads of harmonics that you would need loads of uh, oscillators to replicate, but I think we did an enough job. Okay. So this is the first patch. I have here three equalizers and a compressor. Don't mind the compressor that hits here only for side chaining on the kick. But I'm going to turn off the equalizers for now. Okay. And I'll bring back the default patch. Really loud. So first thing I'm going to do is drop the pregame to 206. And raise the oscillator to, to 541. And the noise to 225. Now, first oscillator, let's change it to a square wave and raise the pulse width to 824. And on the second oscillator, let's detune it to 60. Okay. Now for the first envelope, for the filter, envelope generator to amount at maximum. This is the envelope generator to amount controlling how much of this envelope generator is going to modulate the cutoff. And drop the cutoff to 462. and the resonance to 604. Okay. Now for the first envelope generator, which modulates the, the amplitude, 103 for the attack, decay at 072, sustain at 941, Nine three one, sorry. Release two hundred and three. Can be two hundred and six. Second envelope generator, zero on the attack, eighty four on the DK. Sustain at zero. And release at two hundred and seventy nine. Now we go to the this second LFO and Put the rate at 420. And the delay at 145. This means that it will take a little time to work, to start. And I'm going to raise now, change here, the modulation page of both oscillators to LFO2, and I'm going to raise it to 170. So it's just a tiny modulation. Finally, we go to the chorus, change it to dim, and turn it on right at 0 0.97. And depth of 2.79. Okay. Now turning the equalizers on. Okay, and we have our first organ. Now for the second, which is doing the chords. Also two equalizers here. 
Okay, turning them off and bringing back the default patch. Okay, again, very loud. Let's drop the pre-gain to 194. And raise the second oscillator to maximum. Now, first oscillator is square wave and pulse width of 800. Second oscillator, it's a saw, but we fine-tune it to 119. Envelope generator to amount to 678. Cutoff 386. Okay. Resonance at 410. Now let's go to the first envelope generator and attack at 036, decay at 072, sustain at maximum and release of 151. Second envelope generator, 0 on the attack, 066 on the decay, sustain at 0. And release of 106, about there. Finally, chorus on rate of 084 and depth of 255. Okay, now for the bass. Okay. This is simulating the um, foot keys on an organ. Turning off this equalizer for now. And bringing back the fault patch. Okay. And first thing I'm going to first thing I'm going to do here is change the first oscillator to a sign. Raise one octave, second oscillator to a sign. It's okay. And third oscillator to assign and raise one octave. Now for the amplifier, we have pre gain at 310. And sub oscillator at 5505. Uh, five oh Now for the first envelope for the envelope generator to amount, let's raise it to maximum and cut off to 078. Resonance at 226. Now attack it on the first envelope generator is 024. The case is at maximum. 151 on the release. Now for the second envelope generator, 0 on the attack, 0 048 on the decay. Sustain at 511. And a release of 106. So it's about there. Okay, and we have our base. Now I'm going to turn on this equalizer. Again, compressors, these less compressors are always only for side chaining. So now for the arpeggiator. Okay, turning on the equalizer and the delay modulator. This is an arpeggiator of, of 1 16th with a gate of 52, 58 and two steps. But bring back default patch. Okay. And now, first thing, performance mode from poly to mono. First oscillator, let's bring back two octaves. 
Okay, and I'll master at seven nine one, and pre-gain and oscillator one at maximum. Now envelope generator to amount is six eleven, cut off at four seven four. Resonance of zero. Now for the first envelope generator, attack at zero, decay one ninety. Sustain at zero. And a release of one ninety. Envelope generator two. Zero attack, zero sustain. Three hundred decay. At maximum. Finally, reverb. Let's raise 287 amount. Decay of 565. Damping of 500. Modulation of 100. Now let's turn on the lean modulator, which has 410 of time, depth of 657 and a rate of 033, a feedback of 167 and more or less half dry wet. Now the equalizer and we have our sound. Here this compressor is just squeezing it a little bit and this compressor is for side chaining only. Now let's go to the saw base. Again, this is just a cut and bring back default patch. Okay. Drop two octaves on both oscillators. Now pre-gain at 804 should be there. Okay. Detune the second oscillator to 144. Okay. Now for the filter, 611 envelope generator to amount. Drop the cutoff to. So, sorry, 237. And drop the cutoff to. 237, 178. Resonance is zero, and now for the first envelope generator, attack zero, 190 for the decay. Sustain at zero, uh, maximum, sorry, and release of 190. Second envelope generator. Maximum decay, maximum sustain, and a release of 100. And we have our sound. Finally, we have this pad, which I call it Marauder pad, because Giorgio Marauder, he used to use it a lot, which is basically an analog polyphonic synth with saw, tooth waves, and a lot of phasing. As soon as I take the phaser out, it loses that characteristic. It also has here a ballad reverb and a cut. So now, let's bring back default patch. And first thing I'm going to do is raise one octave on the first oscillator and on the second. It's there. Now raise the second oscillator and the sub-oscillator to maximum. Detune the second oscillator to 048. Okay. Now, pre uh, master at 809. Master 809.
and pre-gain at 492. Master 809. And everything here, maximum. Good to envelope generator 2, the filter should be okay. Now let's turn the chorus on. Rate of 206. And depth of 785. Seven, eight, five. And now attack of two hundred and thirty one. Decay of five hundred, sustain at maximum, release of three hundred. And now for the second one, two thirty on the attack, four hundred on the sustain, and a release of a hundred. Okay. And I think we have this ready. I'm just checking one thing. Okay, I was right. And last thing we have to do on this marauder pad is basically drop a raise one octave on the sub oscillator and we're done. Okay? like this and now let's turn on the phaser and the ballad reverb okay and now let's listen to the melody that I've recorded before so bear with me just a second while I get this ready Okay, it's ready, so let's now listen.
sorry about that. And this is it, guys. This was fun. Um, of course, the organs wouldn't sound exactly the same because the uh, analog synthesizer ain't an organ. Uh, or actually, a subtractive synthesizer is hard with one to do a uh, tone wheel organ because it has loads of partials and loads of harmonics. But I think we did what we could and the patches are interesting and you get some organs here on the RC for you to play with. I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial. We will be back next week with more content. So if you like what we do, please give us a like and a subscribe. That would mean a lot to us. So goodbye and see you next week.